Hey guys, it's Jay Panther 518 here. Now for a long time, I have thought some of the greatest films, whether it be a romance, sci-fi, action, drama, porno. Okay, not porno actually, that'd be kind of dumb. Daniel Pocono Pico. Anyway. I thought of the top five movies, and these are not my these are my picks, but I don't say who's the best one. These are the ones that are diverse, but could fit the format because of the material given and what can be used from it. So here we go. Number five, Sin City 1 and 2. Okay, I know what people gave. I saw some reviews for Sin City 1. I love the movie. It's a classic film in comic format. Well, why don't they do the same thing, but for anime? Keep the style the way it is, but keep it in anime, but make it into anime form. Make it this dark, mysterious one, like animes like Monster. Or make it like Helsing or Tokyo Ghoul. Make it super violent, yeah, like just like the movie itself. But as well, give credit to the original comic by Frank Miller. I mean, you could have the different voice actors. I mean, you could have the English dub by the same popular Hollywood actors who voice the characters. And in Japanese, you have your own voice VAs for them. I would love to see an anime version of, of Marv's open scene taking out cops in the streets. I would love to see an anime fight between the Yellow Bastard and Bruce Wells as John Artigan. I would love to see Clive Owens Dwight fight with the beautiful Gale and her leader and her little small band of old town whores taking down the cops of Sin City. This would be an amazing thing in anime. I would probably die. So same thing with part one and two of Sin City. I know some people who are fellow subscribers of mine haven't reviewed Sin City, but will eventually get to it. It would be a great idea, and it would be all interesting. Number four is kind of a weird one, but I could kind of see how they could convert this to anime format. The movie I have to mention here, not Attack on Titan, not anything anime related because it doesn't make any sense. I'm talking about a movie called The Dark Knight Rises. This would work in similar to Sin City without the animation, without the animation comic book wise. I could see this movie taking that dark still. They could make it like Elven Light, maybe. Light it some, without the light parts. Make it dark and twisted and psychotic. Just like the world of Batman itself. I could see, you know, Christian Bale's voiced anime. He voiced Howl in Howl's Women Castle. I mean, I could see him doing his Batman voice. <laughs> Remember me. I'm. Batman, welcome to the anime, The Dark Knight Rises. I apparently had to do this voice. Uh, it's meh. Sorry. You could also have the same one, Tom Hardy. You could have, you know, the same voice act, the same actors again. Or if not, you could change the different voice actors. You could have different actors voicing the characters. If not, that's the one way you could do it. As long as they fit the characters' personalities and the way they would see it. I would love to see a choreographed anime-style fight between Bane and Batman. Matter, even if it's the first fight, the second one, or the finale. That would be a spectacle to behold. So there you go. Number four is Dark Knight Rises. Because the Dark Knight will rise, my friends. It's going to rise. <laughs> so number three is kind of an interesting one. It's not Donnie Darko. It's not... If Nightmare Before Christmas. I can honestly say, with a film this this underappreciated, being this epic how it is, having this with a very dark and a very Halloween tone, I could see it being similar to Soul Eater. It's light and dark tone with that scary Halloween theme to it. I could, that's all I gotta say for Nightmare Before Christmas. Just if it, if it's animated in a way, the only show I could kind of compare it to would have to be Soul Eater. If they could do it in that animation, or if they want to be really dark with it, they could have it to be similar to Dead Man Wonderland or something crazy like that. Something scary and spooky. Number two, The Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy. I mentioned that, uh, I forgot to mention that I say movies. So as you all know, I might have more than one on this list. And this one is a two tie. This is a second place tie. Guardians of the Galaxy and the Avengers, two Marvel movies that have spectacled the screen, both from 2012 
and one released in 2014. Both movies categorize two popular, one underrated, and one popular superhero team, one created by misfits and criminals and also, you know, rascals in space, but the other one is compared to everyone's favorite Marvel heroes and legends. Having these two comic book giants animated in an anime format would be marvelous. I mean, look, already, they already have the Marvel Project. You know, they have the Punisher Black Widow special already. That looked impressive. What can you do with that? I'm sure they could probably have the licensing from Marvel to, to make this beautiful crossover here, but that's just me. I don't, let's say, I'm still going to apply the same rules to Dark Knight and to, you know, the first list of it all, my first pick today. But same thing, if you could have your own voice actors, they would, obviously, I know. They could have the voices fit the characters. Seeing all the epic heroes clash together will be, again, a spectacle to behold, since I'm a comic book fan and anime fan. So having those two combined will be interesting and fun. Same thing for Guardians of the Galaxy. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. That was one of my favorite movies this year of the summer. Not the favorite one of the film so far. I could see them aiming this at a very action-packed, goofy comedic way, in a sense. Having its funny moments, but have action in it. Damn it, my childhood is demanding me to say this. The number one movie that I want to see in anime form or in somewhat anime art style, Star Wars. Just Star Wars. I love these films to death. These were the first big films that got me into movies. And it was because of my passion for sci-fi and film critic and being part of YouTube, I love these films. It would be a grand achievement if some anime company or somehow some big idea would have them create one of my favorite movies of all time, if not my favorites, to the anime screen. So it would be interesting to see Luke Skywalker take on the Empire with beautiful visuals. It can be either with the original music or it could be with their own style of music. It could be a re version of the theme song. It wouldn't matter to me as long as it's appealing as the original with the fun characters developed as the way they were. Yeah, the action. And I don't mean just the original trilogy. I mean all of the series. I mean the prequels and the original trilogy meshed together into a big anime series. Then again, I think they would kind of do it like seasons. Season one could be, you know, A New Hope. And then like season two would be you know, Empire Strikes Back, season three would be Return of the Jedi. Uh, the prequels would be, you know, mini episode one would be Phantom Menace. Mini episode two would be Attack of the Clones. And mini episode three would be Revenge of the Sith. This would make me cry and be happy because I'm being able to see my favorite movie done with respect, with, so with respect from the source material, and credit to George Lucas, the man responsible for this great sci fi epic fantasy. As always, this is J5 sign off. Have a great day and see you later.